Adaptive radiation, a sudden expansion of species that diverse into new ways of life. Adaptive radiation happens at a relatively fast rate because the DNA of animals mutates at a constant rate. Specifically about mammals, adaptive radiation allowed and caused early mammal ancestors to evolve into modern mammals, and these modern day mammals are still evolving today. Scientists discover new species, and by researching the genes and fossils from the Cretaceous period, paleontologists can find out about mammal ancestors and how they change physically and genetically. The examples of adaptive radiation were seen from places that are isolated, places like archipelago or islands like areas. Diversity will likely arise during the time when there is an environmental change. An organism will colonize the isolated areas. As 65 million years ago, fossils did not provide absolutely clear information about mammal ancestors because bones were not complete. This caused people to become confused whether the bones were from reptiles or from mammals. Also, there were not much mammal bones at the time, so paleontologists could not find out enough information about mammal ancestors. It was not until after the Cretaceous period, which is after the time dinosaurs became extinct, that reptiles slowly died out and mammals started occupying the empty niches created by the extinct dinosaurs. As a result, mammals went through adaptive radiation and gradually more and more new species were formed. We know that modern mammals evolved from rather small and very agile reptiles of the extinct suborder Theriodonta, which are descendants of Permian pelicosaurs. The main evidence of adaptive radiation in mammals came from the fossils of animals' teeth and bones. On the other hand, a research is being conducted by a powerful new computer program named MorphoBank. It is working to combine the genetic and fossil information of early mammals to determine more detailed and more accurate information about the first mammals. By using genetic information, they can find out the time elapsed since certain species diverged into different species. This is possible because DNA mutates at a fairly constant rate. However, neither fossils nor DNA can provide the most accurate data about the adaptive radiation of mammals. As a result, there are different theories about how the earliest mammals evolved. One theory is that the mammals started from small reptiles. During the period of the dinosaurs, some small reptiles lived. After the dinosaurs became extinct, the small reptiles slowly evolved into mammals. Another theory about mammal evolution is that smaller mammals change to become larger mammals, or larger mammals shrunk into smaller mammals. These evidence can prove about adaptive radiation. The effects of adaptive radiation can create many different kinds of species with different environment and different function. This process is called speciation. It's the formation of new species. There will be new species and new niches. Adaptive radiation could make a species into many kinds of animals. This will happen when a species move to a new environment or after a huge mass extinction that kills many animals. For example, when the dinosaurs were extinct, mammals had more empty niches and environment. This created many kinds of mammals, and many of these mammals are still alive today. In the future, many animals may evolve into many kinds of species. The earth is changing because of global warming or other things. It may cause another mass extinction. We might evolve into another species that is similar to us. We just don't know what will happen in the future, so we have to let nature decide and have faith to ourselves. There are two chances to have an adaptive variation. One is innovation, the other is opportunity. The evolution of new things may permit a mammal to differ by developing into a particular shape of an organ, for example. A famous example is the evolution of a forest crops in a mammalian tooth. This variation increased their range of food choices. Adaptive radiation creates more different species, which makes a great impact on the environment. The second way of having an adaptive variation is opportunity. Adaptive radiation often occurs as a result of an organism arising in an environment, which does not have a niche for animals. One example will be Lake Victoria. This lake was isolated by African Valley. There was only one fish before and now there are 300 species of fish. Through adaptive radiation, it takes 15,000 years to rise the number.